How can a tired mum get the energy back in order to be able to get in the physical and mental shape that they really want to be in? It's like a vicious cycle because when you're tired, when you're maybe run down, exhausted, or you've just been in this tired place for so long, it can be really hard because you don't have the energy to exercise, which generates energy. You then aren't exercising or doing those extra things because you're too tired, and then you're reaching for the quick grab foods, the ones that give you those quick energy boosts, but then leave you fatigued afterwards. And it's just this vicious ongoing cycle of exhaustion. So how can you flip that switch and change that plane and get that energy back so that you actually feel revitalized and you can get yourself in really great physical shape and mental shape because the two go hand in hand. Well, I've got six steps for you today to help you with exactly that. Number one is a really easy one. Well, it should be easy, but we all do find it pretty hard and that's early nights. Get some early nights, set a bedtime and stick to it. Don't sit up late or, yeah, you need your evening time and yes, you need some space and some wind down time, but just try and get to bed at a, a reasonable time to give yourself a good chance at catching up on some sleep. Especially if you're tired, you might need to even catch up and spend a week having extra early nights and probably missing out on some of that evening time just while you replenish some of that sleep. Maybe even go to bed right after your children go to bed and just capture some of those early um, evening times and get that sleep in there. It really, really does count and it does help. And weirdly, we can find it so hard to do that. So this is a reminder, get some early nights. Sounds simple. The next one is to limit screens. So step number two is limit screens. You, you, you don't wanna be sat up late I'm guilty of this at times, I'm sure we all are, but set up late on your laptop or on a computer screen or on your phone. TV is also a screen, but it's not quite so bad as the in your face kind of screens. Um, I'm not going to suggest that you have two hours clear of screen before going to sleep, which is the ideal, because it's just not realistic. But let's set ourselves a realistic target of just unplugging from all the other media consumption and if you're gonna have some TV chill out with something that you can just watch on TV and turn that off so that you've got a clear half an hour at least between turning that off and your eyes closing on the pillow whatever you do you don't want to be taking screen media into bed with you that's far more likely to affect the quality of your sleep it's likely to affect your ability to go to sleep but even if it doesn't do that it could very easily affect your quality of sleep in the night. So limit that screen time. Now, number three is really an ancient old um, tip for you, but this stuff works. Things like chamomile tea, lavender essential oils, lavender baths, those scents and aromas, teas, all these, all these warming, comforting things that just help relax the body and the mind and just get you ready and into that sleepy mode and just take you away from the busy crazy craziness to the sleep so rather than being full on go and then sleep <laughs> you actually have that nice transition and these things can help likewise you can use the opposite kinds of things in the morning if you want energy boost some energy based essential oils drinks and so on Tip number four for you today. This is a really good one and one that I bet most people don't do. And that's be aware of what you're telling yourself, especially when you're tired and especially in the middle of the night. When you're tired and when it's the middle of the night, you are not thinking from your rational, logical brain, the prefrontal cortex. You're mostly operating from your limbic brain, which is very emotionally responsive. So you're probably telling yourself things like, oh, I'm having a rubbish night's sleep, I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. And if you tell yourself that, you will listen to that. That part of your brain will go, mm -hmm, yep, that's okay. And in the morning, you will feel tired because you've told yourself and you've listened, you've heard that message, and that's what will happen. If you can change that, if you hear yourself telling yourself these negative messages about how you're feeling or how you're going to feel, turn it around and tell yourself, I've had a bit of a disturbed night, but it's okay. Um, I'm gonna get just the amount of sleep I need and I'll, I'll be absolutely fine, I'll handle tomorrow. Maybe I'll get an early night tomorrow as well. 
And if you just tweak that mindset, tweak the messages you're telling yourself in your head, especially in that irrational, tired head, I'm telling you the limbic brain's gonna hear it, it's gonna hear the positive message, and it will make a difference to how you feel. You can apply this to anything, you know, not just feeling tired, but actually if you tell yourself a new story, you'll start to find new outcomes. Tip number five for you today, please don't hate me for this one. When you get up, work out. You're thinking, what? Did you not hear me? I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I have no energy. What do you want about? This is the whole point. I can't work out because I'm too tired. <laughs> All I'm asking is that within your physical capabilities, because everybody's different, do something that you're able to do safely that's more than you currently do. So that might just mean a bit of a stretch, or it might mean a full 20 minute hardcore blast of a workout. You can do this in your pants, you can do this in your pajamas, you do not need a gym, you do not need equipment, you do not need the outfits. Don't put those obstacles in your way. You just need to get up, find a small amount of space, which you've got at home, even in your bedroom, wherever you like, and do some exercise. If you can do a 20 to 30 minute workout, then brilliant, that's, that's what we're aiming for. If you can do that five days a week, you're definitely gonna generate more energy. Now, why? Because we don't just wake up and have energy or not have energy. We don't just start the day and go, oh, today I've got some. <laughs> oh, oh, I haven't got any today. It's not potluck. It's what you generate. It's the same as a power plant. It doesn't just have it. It generates the energy. You can generate this energy really effectively by exercising, by moving your body in a way that's slightly heightened to how you just normally do throughout the day. If you just do 20 jumping jacks, that might do it, or crunches or something. Start small, start where you need to start, but if you can aim towards a 20 to 30 minute um, decent intensity workout every morning that you can do at home, no excuses, then you're gonna generate more energy. And if you need some help with what to do, then do drop us a message because I can give you a whole Netflix library's worth of workouts that are um, with superstar trainers and they're amazing and they will keep you on point with that. So my sixth step for you today, the sixth and final step that's gonna hopefully help you with this energy crisis <laughs> is to meal prep or meal plan your week ahead. The reason I want you to do this is because if you're left to your own devices when you're tired and depleted, you're going to reach for those quick fix things. Those things that might give you a short-term boost but ultimately are not gonna help you. So if you've meal planned, if you've prepped the week, if you know what you're having, and I don't mean you have to have everything pre-cooked, pre-boxed, packed up and ready to go, you can do that for sure. But even if you've just written it down of what you're gonna have and you know that you've got that in stock, <laughs> then all you gotta do is go, right, uh, uh, yeah, I'm hungry, but that's okay because I know I'm just gonna have put this with this and that's that and I'm gonna eat that and it's gonna give me sustainable energy and focus to get through the next section of my day. Just by planning ahead, you're gonna make better choices with your food. So those are my six steps for you today for generating more energy. So as a tired mum who feels like you're just never gonna get out of this lull, you can start to lift yourself up, regain that energy and get yourself physically fit mentally fit and thriving 